So now let's work around with the Z depth inside of Tun Moon Harmony. So uh, to work around with Z depth, I'm going to bring in something like a rectangle and I'm going to make sure that it's filled up with color. So if I were to actually uh, draw in a rectangle, a rectangular shape over here, it's filled up with the color as you can see. So I'm going to go over here and fill it up with another color and I'm going to create a new layer. So uh, I'm just going to go over here onto a new drawing, press OK, add it in and I'm going to create a new layer right over here just like this. So you can see that right now my drawing one is on top and drawing here is on the bottom. So let's say I want to do an animation where uh, the green box actually comes from back of the black box and onto the front. In order to work with that we have to work around with the Z depth. So to understand what is Z depth I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click this plus icon right over here. So once I press that you can see that I can access its position and everything else. So whenever we are adding a keyframe or we are doing an animation, we are actually adding keyframes right over here. So one of them is the position. So you can control individual positions right here. So whenever we drag around, what happens is that, so whenever we drag around, you got to make sure that all is selected. So whenever we drag around, what happens is that uh, position keyframes are actually added in. But there's another keyframe, uh, there's another position option right here called Z. So right now it's zero. But if I were to go over here and type in minus one, let's see what happens. It actually goes back. So I can actually click over here on the number and click and drag as well. And let's see what happens. It actually brings the shape in the front. But if I were to drag it onto the left side, you can see that it goes to the back. And just like we work in a 3D space, actually this is a 3D space as the Z depth is back. So uh, it is actually sending the shape backwards. And if the Z depth is uh, more positive, it actually is bringing the shape forward. So that is why it actually gets bigger and smaller as we work around with the Z depth as well. And this is something that Toon Boom provides, which makes animation a lot more easier. So let me just go, go back to zero right here and let us work around with, the, uh, with our original intent. That is what I want to do is I want this green uh, shape to actually animate from backwards of the black object and then in the front. So you can see that a keyframe has been added here, here. So I don't actually want a keyframe. So I'm going to press F7 to remove that out. So no more keyframe once you press F7. So now I'm just going to go to my transform tool and I'm going to select the pivot and keep it over here so that I can start animating now. So what I want to do is I want this to start from behind. So I'm going to go over here on to plus 30 and I'm going to press uh, F5 to increase the frames right over here. So from backward, I want it to be in the front. So from the backward, let's say until right here, I want this uh, frame right here, this green frame to come up right over here. On the bottom layer, I accidentally added in a keyframe, so I'm going to press F7 to actually remove that out. So over here, you can see that now I have this animation on the front. Now I'm gonna select the shape just like this. And then over here, I want it to come up over here. So just like this, you can see that right now, I have very weird animation. Uh, it is not actually coming up from the back to the front. It's actually in the front and it is going to the front. But here, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to work around with the Z depth. So till here, I want the Z depth to be zero. Here, I want the Z depth to be minus one. And here, I want it to be plus one. So I want to work around with the animation of the Z depth as well. So the keyframes have already been added. So I'm just going to go on to the front uh, part right here. And I'm going to press the plus button over here. So once you go to the press button, you can see the Z axis that is position every, everything. Uh, you can see keyframes in everything. So just go to the part where there is already a keyframe. And now in the front one on Z depth, I'm going to type in minus one. So that actually sends the shape backwards, as you can see. So it actually sends the back uh, shape backwards right over here around this section. I want the Z depth to be zero. And right now it's already zero because keyframe was added and the value that Z depth has um, uh, when we animated by using th this is it's directly zero. So it's already zero. And over here it's in the front, but I want to have the Z depth as one. So it actually appears on the front. So now what happens is that 
Over here, the z-depth is minus 1, so it is going uh, one value backwards. Then it's on value 0 right over here, and here it's in the front. So it is actually animating in three dimensions. So that's the z-depth. It actually comes up over here. You can see that the side changes as well. And from over here, it comes to the front, just like this. And this is how you work around with the z-depth. So if I were to play this around now, if I were to play this, you can see that it animates from back to the front just like this. If we were to use a lot of other 2D applications, then this might not be something you can do so easily. And this is why uh, uh, using Toon Boom is very, very advantageous, especially when you want to do a depth animation just like this. So even if this is a 2D animation program, there is a way to work in a 3D space, making it much more easier to animate. And this might seem really complicated at first, but really simply positions uh, like X, Y, and Z, and then rotation scale, uh, and so forth, which you're going to see even in detail in the further lessons. And if you're used to After Effects, the concept is quite similar, it's just the details just like in After Effects where you can assign individual keyframes to individual elements right over here. So that is how you can work around with the z-depth inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.